This video is going to start with a super obvious statement. Pretty much everything the wizards do runs through plays like this, where John Wall gets Markeith Morris an open three-pointer, and then also plays like this one, where Wall is able to react to the defense and put the ball in the basket. And the other guy is Bradley Beal. What I'm saying is Wall and Beal have an insane responsibility for these wizards, and it carries over to their starting lineup as their starters were the most used lineup in the NBA this season by over 500 minutes. So their second unit could definitely use some help, and I think the recent signing of Jody Meeks, a shooting guard, could actually be a big deal for these guys. But first, we gotta talk about the Wizards' second unit, which was one of the worst in the NBA this year. I would say the one guy who had some moments for them was Kelly Oubre, an athlete who has shown some good signs on both sides of the floor. He just hasn't been able to stretch it out for an entire season, but he did have some moments for them. Uh, but even with this, the Wizards were 29th in points scored by their bench, and their second unit was also minus 1.1 for this previous season. So they were just worse when their bench players were in the game. And while Kelly Oubre is nice, they're going to need some more help. And as we go through this video here, I think there's reason to believe that Jody Meeks could be the exact type of player that the Wizards are looking for off their bench. If we can just talk about Meeks himself now, uh, he's a three-point shooter. That's his calling card in the NBA. He's shot 38% from outside for his career while taking around four a game. He's also averaged over 10 points a game three times in his career, including one season for the Lakers where he actually put up 16 points a game while shooting 40% from three. The dude has shown an ability to just put the ball in from the perimeter. The fear is that he's been injured for the past few seasons, but Jody Meeks claims that he is healthy and he is ready to put in some quality minutes for the Wizards this season. And I think his play style could actually be something that they could acclimate pretty easily. Look at this basket by Bradley Beal here, which is just a cross-court pass from John Wall. Notice how Beal will come across screens, and Scott Brooks just finds ways to get Beal open through movement on the floor. And I think uh, Jody Meeks, you could pretty much just pencil him in for that style of play, and he would be comfortable. He's not just simply a spot shooter, he's someone who you can actually run some plays for where he could run across a screen and just a few little movements. He can catch the ball and turn towards the basket and actually have good results doing it. And the Wizards are in desperate need of a guy who can do this because, like I mentioned, they were one of the worst benches in the league this year. You put Meeks in there and if he's able to give them What's been consistent throughout his career, which is around 10 points a game, while also maybe 38-39% from three. I think that's the sort of thing that can really transform your second unit. So, a play like this with Beal, I think you're going to see a lot like that with Meeks. But the other thing with him is, he's not just a three-point shooter, he's actually been okay at attacking the rim. He's not a guy who you're going to give the ball to and tell him to beat guys off the dribble. But cutting to the rim, transition, maybe he gets open off of some screens, but um, the lane to the basket is open. Meeks has success doing that as well. Before these past couple seasons where he's been injured, he's actually shot around 57, 58% at the rim, which for a two guard with not much athleticism, I would say that's about all you can ask for. So Meeks is not just a one-dimensional offensive player. He could actually be low-usage scorer for these guys. And low-usage scorers are always amplified when they have a great point guard who can get them the ball. Insert John Wall into that equation. Wall is one of the best attackers of the rim in the NBA today. And given just how much he forces the defense to react to him whenever he gets ahead of steam going to the basket... That's when the defenders start looking at each other. They have to realize who's got to bring the help, which means someone's going to be open. And given that Wall can average 10 assists a game in his sleep, uh, Jody Meeks should be right at home because all these opportunities here where the defense is just off him for a split second, 
John Wall is going to find him for some easy three-point shots. And the thing, like I mentioned Kelly Oubre a second ago, like Oubre is nice, but his three-point shot has not been a go-to weapon in the NBA, even if he's had some moments from there. But Jody Meeks, on the other hand, it's safe to say that he's going to be enjoying some crisp passes from John Wall all season. But I want to talk about another point guard that the Wizards recently acquired. They actually traded for Tim Frazier. This move was kind of under the radar. They traded their second round pick for him. He was on the Pelicans this previous year. I mean, as a scorer, I wouldn't expect too much from Frazier just because he's not very efficient. But he's a damn good playmaker. He actually averaged about five assists a game last season while only committing a little over one turnover. So even if John Wall is not in the game, Frazier is the guy who can, you know, not command as much attention from a defense as Wall because he's not the scorer that Wall is, but he'll definitely be able to get the ball to Meeks in good positions as well. So I think Jody will always have a decent enough playmaker on the floor at all times to get him some good buckets. And then when you look at those two guys, combined with Jan Mahinmi, who if he's healthy, which everyone's going to say, as well as Kelly Oubre hopefully getting more consistent, the Wizards' second unit could be a real weapon this year for them when it's been a weakness in the past. That's probably a little bit of uh, hopeful thinking on my part, but I'm trying to be positive for the Wiz. So just to sum this thing up, their starters played a lot of minutes this year. They played over a thousand minutes with the lineup of John Wall, Bradley Beal, Otto Porter, Markeith Morris, and Marcin Gortat. And that's tough to maintain no matter who you are. I do think in the last round against the Celtics, they were getting tired. Hopefully Meeks can just make things a little bit easier. I think he can play with the starters at times. I could see them taking out Bradley Beal and then inserting Jody Meeks. And then you could have Beal come back in with the second unit. This is the kind of luxury that a backup shooting guard who knows what he's doing can do for you as a team. So as long as Meeks is healthy, I think he's the exact guy they could use.